Today, I'll show you how to help translate the TalkTo app into your preferred language. To get started, you will need to create an account on Weblate. Use the invite link that was sent to your email and follow the instructions. Once you're logged in, you will navigate to the Browse All Projects dropdown, where you will see the major parts of the Talk2 app listed. Each project is split up into multiple parts called components. Let's start with the web project and choose the widget component. Here you will find a list of all the languages available for the selected component. If your desired language isn't listed, just reach out to support by initiating a chat on the Talk2 homepage. A member of our team will help set that up for you. Select the language that you wish to translate into. You will see an overview of the component status showing all strings, untranslated strings, failing issues, and more. On this next view, you will see the English source string and the language input box where you will add the translation. Take note not to add any punctuation to a translation if it is not included in the English version. Once you are happy with your translation, select Save and Continue, and the next string to translate will appear. If you're unsure about a translation, you can press skip and come back to it at a later time or select suggest, and a reviewer will respond to your suggestion at a later time. A handy tool can be seen if you scroll down the page and select other occurrences. This will show if the particular string is used in other parts of the Talk2 app, which can help to provide you better context. Once you have completed the translations for the component you are working on, check that there are no failing checks. Common errors include accidentally adding or not including punctuation, like full stops, ellipsis, or spaces. For ellipses, many people use three full stops instead of the proper ellipsis character. To ensure consistency and accuracy, use the ellipsis button tool provided in the translation window rather than typing out three periods. This will automatically insert the correct ellipsis character. Once you are happy with your translation, select Save and Continue and the next string to translate will appear. That's it. Once you have completed the translation of your preferred language, reach out to talk to customer support via live chat on the website. Let a member of our team know that your preferred language is ready to be added to our app. The app will be updated so yourself and millions of others will be able to use the talk to app to communicate with their customers in their preferred language.